Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back for a new video. Thanks for tuning in for the Wednesday pour. Today, I'm going to do a wandering ring pour. Um, I've had some problems with these in the past. Um, um, I took a class with Mina, and you know, it's all about how fast you whip your wrist. And so I tend to go a little slower. <laughs> so I'm going to try to speed it up a little bit this time. So stick around to the end of the video because today is the day that the winner is announced for the quadruple ring pour painting I did in my last video for my 100th video one year anniversary. So stick around to the end and you'll see if you are the winner. All right, everyone, I'll be right back. Okay, what I got is an 18 by 24 gallery wrap canvas. It's taped and push pinned on the back. Uh, the colors I'm gonna be using today are Liquitex in the cadmium yellow hue, Pebio's iridescent orange yellow. I'm using titanium white by Amsterdam with uh, Deco Art satin enamels. Amsterdam in the greenish blue. Uh, this is a combination of Pebio's iridescent blue-green with some of the Deco Art Extreme Sheen in the Aquamarine. Ooh, that's a lot of rhyming. And, of course, 24 karat gold. And what I'm going to do here is a wandering ring pour. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it down. Kind of make almost like a snake. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe here could end up leaving some negative space I don't want to go corner to corner and I don't want to go straight across I kind of want to do a little bit of an angle so that's what I'm thinking and I'm probably going to pour into a I'm going to make a strip of white to ring pour into I think that's what I'm going to do all right let's get this cup layered I'm going to need a about 15 ounces of paint for an 18 by 24. I painted my sides. I'm using a table scraps green color that I uh, has got all, it's just a hodgepodge of stuff. Had some orange, some green, some blue. So, all right, let's get started. So let's put little bit of gold so all my paints are also mixed with a mixed pour you can get your mixed pour from krista rasmussen at krista8974 at gmail.com uh, the paints are uh, mixed seven parts of mix to about one and a half two parts of paint so let's just put a little here in the center it will start Cadmium yellow. This orange. Some of the white. Greenish blue. put this aqua flash and the yellow next to each other because I don't want to necessarily make too much green. So I'm going to separate that with some white, put the yellow on top of that white. Put a little thicker orange this time. Separate the orange with some white.
so let's just go like this. All right, let's try that. I'm gonna start right here. Very interesting look. All right, I'm gonna put some of this green around. All right, so what I want to do is figure out what I like the most, what do I like the least. I think I like the least over here, the end. So I am going to try to open this up. I don't know that I'm going to leave negative space because it's kind of spread out. Let's start tilting. open this up a little bit.
Okay. I'm gonna leave this right here. I'm gonna touch up my edges. Loving this orange in this. Just really is bright and vibrant. Great lines. Getting some white cells that are coming back up through here because this white was a lot thinner than the actual paints. It's good. The only thing I'm gonna do now is I am gonna pour a little bit more of the Flow Extender on the sides to make sure it got all covered. All right, I'm gonna to touch up my edges and torch, and then I'll bring you guys in. I really like this, guys. This, uh, again, you just can't go wrong with mix and the lines. It just creates some beautiful, beautiful lines. Let me bring you up here in the top left. All right, I'll let you see this dry. I'll be back in just a few moments. All right, everyone. So the painting is not dry, so I can't stick it up on the easel for a long period of time. What I can do is show you a quick, it's still shiny and wet there in the center. Um, I didn't turn on my, uh, didn't turn the heat up higher. And so it's definitely not dry enough to hang and show you a dried result. So, once this gets dried completely, then I will show it to you. All right, so that's gonna do it for today. So now, let's draw the winner for the quadruple ring pour painting. So this piece is dry. It's got um, some nice sheen to it. It does not have Liquitex gloss varnish on it yet. So what I'm gonna do is, whoever the winner is, I'm going to, um, I'm just gonna put my email in this video here. And whoever the winner is, you email me directly and we can talk about whether or not we wanna put, you want to have uh, Liquitex varnish on it or leave it as is, okay? All right, let's get started. All right, let's draw the winner. So I'm gonna copy and paste the YouTube link here. We're gonna filter duplicate users, include replies. Good enough. Get YouTube comments. 77 comments. Let's stay over here and start the raffle. Drum roll. Lynn Purvis, Lynn Purvis, all right. Congratulations, Lynn. You can email me directly at bryansuppervalleyartistry at gmail.com. We will discuss what to do with this painting. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, that'll let you know when I do post new video content. 
All right, guys, have a great day. I'll see you on Friday night. Bye-bye.